Hi, hello everyone. My name is Amina Olale Kern and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe. I talk about love, talk about relationship and I want to talk, I want to start talking about finances. So trust me, you are going to be blessed. And if you are a returning subscriber, you're welcome once again. Now today I want to talk about how you can maximize and make good use of your salary as an individual but most especially as a kingdom kind of person. Now you see salary is super good, salary is important. In fact if you have a job that pays you salary it's, it's, it's something beautiful. I encourage people to put out their CVs, to go for jobs, to give in their best for jobs. We get to pray for people to secure very good and high paying job. But you see, you need to, to understand that, um, beyond your salary you need to create systems and methods that you can use to replicate that income because when you don't for example i gave a particular example let's say um you get stranded on the 15th of a month no matter how much you pray, no matter how much you fast, no matter how much you want to say protocol should be broken for your sake. The truth is that government or any private institution will pay you your salary 28th or 30th of any month. Nobody will pay you your salary on the 10th of a particular month, no matter how pressing your need might be no matter how pressing your need might be you would need to work for 30 days to earn that salary do you understand that's why you need to look for a system and a method to see that this money keeps on coming irrespective of the salary and one thing i need to um I want you to understand as a believer and also as an individual who is aiming for productivity and greatness is to understand that your salary is a seed that has been given to you. And what do you do with a seed? You sow a seed in order to harvest and reap returns. So rather than spending the entire salary that you're making, why not put out a portion, a percentage every month. Then when you think or feel that, okay, I can invest this, then you invest that salary. Do you understand? Because you see, you cannot pass on your salary to your children. You cannot pass on your salary to your next generation and all. But if you can create a source of income, a new stream of wealth that you can pass on to people. So I want you to use your salary as a means to gather your seeds. As a means to gather your seeds. Do not eat your bread and your seed at the same time. My, my, my financial mentor, Dr. Olumide Emanuel says something. He says, if you run out of job, do you have the kind of finance that will keep you running for six months without breaking? If you don't, then there is a problem. If you don't, there is a problem. You can invest your money. You can use it to start a new business. You can go into passive income. Just look for something that you can do while working. Something you can do while working that will, that, that, that will bring in resources for you. You can decide, okay, you know what? This particular thing I'm doing, this is what I will use to pay my bills and take responsibility for anything that I want to do. But my salary, I'm saving it entirely. And you see, I don't just want you to be someone who saves money. But you need to learn not just to save money, but save money and invest. Save money and invest. The 50,000 Naira that you saved 10 years ago is not the same value today. Do you understand? That's why it's risky to just save money and keep. You save money and invest. You save money to multiply them, not save money to just keep like that. No, there is a time for keeping to gather. After gathering, you sow. After gathering, you invest. After gathering, 
you multiply, but you don't gather to keep. Nobody will harvest products from the farm and just keep it in their bands like that without putting it out. You know, when you when you when you harvest and all you do is just gather and fill up those produce in your bands and all, a time will come where they will start getting rotting, like they will deteriorate from pest infestation and so many things. Likewise, the pest infestation that you can face face when all you do is save and save and save, you are not investing. We have inflation, we have emergency, and so many things can just come to take up that money that you're saving. That's why when you save, the next thing you should start thinking about is how can I invest this money? And I hope you've been blessed by this video. Do well to leave a comment down below for me and let me know how much this video has helped you. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.